welcome back to Rise and Shine. We're chatting this morning with Mr. Cleon McPherson or Kylie. So either one of those two names, McPherson, um, he's the founder of RE Promotions. And we're chatting this morning about the Plymouth Juvie. Good morning and welcome. Hi, good morning. Um, well, first, uh, begin with, uh, was actually also Dean Juvie was also a co-founder of RE Promotions. Mm -hmm. um, how it was envisioned was that we wanted to create uh, probably a group that actually cater to young individuals mm -hmm. where in terms of the entertainment within Tobago um, you know sometimes it's kind of lackluster it's kind of dry so at least to give you know value for money and for where people to actually you know experience uh, uh, something that is very tangible and, and meaningful. And we're talking here with the youth with youth in mind? Yeah youth in mind basically. Okay. Um, what we cater for is more actually uh, cultural activities but you also play a part where we assist, assist um, you know, various NGOs that would need help in that mm -hmm. sense, but it would be more obviously based, you know, demographic between, say, 12 and, you know, 20, 20, 29, between that kind okay. of thing, so. All right. Now tell us what makes, what makes the Plymouth Juve or this promotion, because we're talking about here, um, the Plymouth Juve band, what mm. makes this so unique? Um, basically, well, even with the Juve band itself, what, what we try to do is actually bring a difference. Uh, with the Carnival Tabanka now, um, is actually played off uh, um, Bungie Garland's, um, that song. It's actually very popular. But what we're trying to do, slowly but surely, is actually re reintroduce that kind of traditional aspect within the, um, the realm of, of, of Carnival itself. We're because talking traditional mass. Mm -hmm. Traditional. But what we have to do, basically, it's very difficult to just... Um, Let's interject that. So what we try to do is do hybrid versions of it, basically. But it's still reminiscent of that past. So even if, let's say, from Midnight Rubber, you know, normally we'd have that kind of baggy pants with the hat and thing. What we could do is a hybridized form because, you know, these days it's, you know, tight. Everything is tight. So mm -hmm. it would actually be something hybrid. What you have to do is you have to win people onto it because it's basically dying. So even within this band now, we actually have a lot of traditional characters in it. Remind us of some of them. Um, basically, what are we having? Like, something like the Midnight Rubber, probably some elements of the Jab Jab. Mm -hmm. Also, um, even with the Moko Jambi, but I would even elaborate on that. Uh, we have um, some characters, I think one is named Miss Carnival. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give too much away, but basically what she represents is actually a central dualistic manifestation of traditional and actually contemporary, mm -hmm. right? So we have that link where an individual can actually see that development because culture is not, you know, always changes, always moving, always changing in that sense. So what you try to do is give that element of, you know, that traditional element reminiscent of what was going on before and also at the same time acknowledges what is going on now, mm -hmm. right? Which is kind of being replaced by that kind of bikini mask, which in itself is all well and good within the time. Right. But at the same time, too, it's good to, you know, marry that because, you know, you only have left with the culture and the heritage, and if that's gone, you have nothing else to fall back on, that's basically. Right. So um, we actually be distributing packages to, uh, today. Actually, that will be in front of a uh, culture GNV place at opposite Market Square, mm -hmm. actually from 3.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Now tell so, us about the packages and the cost and what the packages actually do okay. in retail. Okay, basically, um, with the, the course itself is $120. Mm -hmm. um, that includes t-shirts, drinks, also breakfast. Um, I mean, that's a steal of a deal. You, people go to a party, pay $200 and still have to you know, buy, buy their own drinks. Buy their own drinks. Mm -hmm. So, well, and that's the thing about it. We try to cater to the masquerader because um, uh, sometimes a lot of people you know, whatever, whatever industry they're in, they lose sight of what they're doing. And it's based on, you know, monetary value to get that revenue. Yeah. And they lose sight even in terms of Dollars their... Dollars They lose sight in terms of even their creative work mm -hmm. because they try to maximize in terms of their profits. So it's actually not about making any money or that kind of thing, but it's actually giving something back to the community yeah. and for, you know, to have an a enjoyable experience within the, um, the carnival experience. Um, I even want to um, probably just elaborate on exactly what is going on with in, within um, Plymouth because mm -hmm. it's actually starting from today, right? So we actually have um, at the Barrett Hard Court, we have with the old time Carnival Village, right? Okay. That's actually starting from 10 a.m. It will be 
going on for about two days, mm -hmm. right? So we would have, in terms of a historical exhibition and Pan Calypso, which is good too. So even I know the, some of these students are on vacation. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing for them to at least learn about their history, see exactly what, um, how you know, these things develop. Because sometimes they know exactly what is going on, but they never know in terms of how that historical basis, how it started. And it's good to know in terms of your heritage within that sense. So that will be going on for uh, two days. Um, in an, at the nine, tonight, actually, from 8 p.m., there would be the Pan Fukurama and also the Heritage Calypso Monarch. Mm -hmm. All right? So that will also be held at the hard court. Um, and now, in terms of the juve morning, that is when you know all the action starts basically. And that is actually starting at 4 a.m. And I think this year there's actually uh, more bands, mm -hmm. right? More more um, bands um, taking part, participating, and which is actually good for even the community of Plymouth because you have all these individuals coming in, spending, and you know you 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 you're putting that money within the community. That's right. Right. And just the last but least, um, the Within the evening now, there also is, will be a stage show mm -hmm. at starting from 4 p.m. Right. So you have that whole kind of um, activities going on within the two-day process, which mm -hmm. you probably enjoy. Right? All right. And persons, I'm, in, I'm noticing here that groups of 10 pay $100 each. That's what I'm saying. So even, even we're giving away. Even groups of 10 pay $100. But uh, individually, it's 120 Individually, it's 120 mm -hmm. basically, right? And um, I just want to say little thanks to individuals who assisted. Um, uh, we have here Miss Gertrude, Mrs. Hines, Dudu, Gloria, uh, Miss Marie Toby, um, Aina's Bridal Store, um, Yvonne Taliba, um, the Division of Culture, and Pecky. So there's a, there's a few individuals that assisted. Pecky. Yeah, Pecky. Renison Quashig, Pecky. Yeah, Renison Quashig. You know, the key has Cannibal Tabanka. Why this team here? Um, basically, what we try, that's what I'm saying, what we try to do is cater to the younger demographic and what they could probably play into and understand very easily. What, you know, what, you know why I would see uh, what they could swallow in that sense. And I think Carnival Tabanka was actually a prominent song. It was a catchy song too. And it also had where, depending on what context you use it, you could use it for anything. Okay. This, this, as in the sense in terms of love. It, depending on what context you could use it however and that's why we try to even with the individuals we have there with Miss Carnival what we have even her showing um, in terms of that historical legacy we also have a character named Mr. Tabanka okay. and he is he's trying to get get back Miss Carnival so actually playing playing on the two things of that loss of traditional mass mm -hmm. and also in terms of that Carnival Tabanka because you know, in terms of Tabanka generally, is, is, it makes even, you know, cancer look mild. It's so serious, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. But well, we have less than a minute to go here. And the la um, last juve you all had used different ontology, which was another bungee. Bungee seems to be special. No, no. Special, well, yeah. the thing about it is um, sometimes it basic, you're basically playing on the themes, basically. Okay. And what we did, even with the bungee now, we had, um, it was actually different ontology evolution. So we had, you know... Uh, kind of evolution and we also played on the call which was actually viral so what we try to do is actually cater to that younger demo demographic but at the same time still put it um bring in that traditional aspect to uh, the more matured for the, well for the more matured and to also to you know cater to because you see the thing about it if you just put tell young individuals to do traditional mass they wouldn't do it i mean that's i'm just saying that's a fact now give us some, some quick numbers here. All right. Um, in terms of to contact the group, uh, there's myself at 732-0764. Um, there's Dane Job at 758-5303. Uh, Groogs at 774-4044. Uh, Christoph at 715-7937. Alana at 308-7483. And Trishel at 326-1493. Somewhere along the way, you would have caught one of those numbers. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for being on our program this morning, Cleon McPherson, or Kylie McPherson, yeah. for being on our program. And it's all about the Carnival Tabanka Plymouth. So call one of the numbers to get some more information. Have a great day, Tobago. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Be blessed. Bye-bye. When the doctor come to diagnose me, tell me why the world is not thinking. Yeah. It's just delusions and delusions of me thinking, so can you help me? Every time I hear a police siren, I'm thinking this is God coming to take me to the next venue, so my performance will not be shot.
short When I see a big truck in Port of Spain Thinking it's a hot of bliss It's a big dump truck passing with red sand in it Lord, I tell you I 